This is a result of a linguistic investigation by Utepris and John Ald. The objects of this context are Norwegian words God and words r r semantically related to it. Words coming from the same semantic field or semantic neighborhood. Words with similar meanings. Flink, pen, and so on. And here they are described by English words that according to a dictionary can be used as their translations. So, if we look at the word God, and if we want to find how it can be translated into English, we need to follow the ascending paths, starting from the node labeled by God, and see what English words are on these paths. So the word God can be translated as kind, delicious, nice, good, and clever, but according to this diagram, and according to the data on which it was built, not as cute and not as sharp. The word flink, on the other hand, can be translated as cute and sharp, but it cannot be translated as nice and kind, at least according to the dictionary on which this lattice was built. We can also look at it the other way around. So if we want to find how the English word cute can be translated into Norwegian, we should follow the descending paths, starting from the word cute, and gather all the Norwegian words that we meet there. So the word cute can be translated as carp, indic, pen, flink, and that's it. So this is how we can read the raw data from the lattice diagram. We're going to explore the conceptual structure of this data next.